you usual gym, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any stuff that? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Point is, we do. I think it's a big dog around the house. She looks my mum like shit. We need to sort them out. I know what you're thinking. Typical tale of three teenagers who are facing the challenges the world gives them. And you're right. Except this one. This one has a difference to it. This is about three brothers who come together to assassinate their stepdad. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before, have you? What are you doing here? It's your dream, you tell me. Well, why are you dressed as a Moroccan waiter? Again, it's your dream, you tell me. And where are we now, seriously? You, you can't tell this is a barbershop. Were you talking about stepdad, Jim? No, fucking postman, Jim. Of course I was talking about stepdad, Jim. Why would you bring up Jim? But he's the worst in all of us. Because unlike you guys, I like to talk about my feelings. That's my Mexican-born brother, Romeo. He was adopted at birth by my parents. He didn't really handle the divorce very well. He went a bit, um... crazy, if you know what I mean. You want to go for an adventure? No. You want to play some lacrosse? No. Wanna read my poetry? No. Sam on the other hand, well, he handled it worse. Well, I cried like I've never cried before. Yeah, which is a little bit he suspicious. Had to. He had to. Oh yeah, well he had to, especially you he's had the fucking to affair to me. Hours, then. Don't fucking Get turn up. on me. It's not about what I fucking do or what I don't do. Jim, you're it's being not, paranoid. No, I'm not fucking being paranoid. You don't are. fucking touch. Don't paranoid. fucking touch me. I'm being fucking you know. paranoid, Carol. But fucking believe this, yeah. If I find out you're fucking in here, it will not be I'm worth your while. Yeah, fuck off, Jim. Carol. Have a good day. Romeo, mm. wake up, man. Uh, you right? <laughs> Harry, what are you doing? Just a bone, I grow up, man. Uh. What's up? I keep having that dream. You know, the one when we killed Jim. 
Where were we this time, huh? Space, the Shire, in a restaurant. We were in a barber shop. Oh, that's new. You were cutting my hair, and Sam was sweeping the floor, brushing it all up, and well, look, the point is, I keep having these reoccurring dreams where I, you know, plan to kill Jim. Harry, I want him dead too, but in a, I want to fuck Megan Fox kind of way, you know? I, I want it to happen, but I just can't. Why would you want him dead? I see him bullying you every day. He's a prick to you. What if I'm destined to kill him? Harry, you're not a psychopath. You're not destined to kill anyone. Now, Sam, he's a psychopath. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Sam, what are you doing in my room? Oh, I couldn't sleep last night, mate. Oh, I share a wall with Mum and Jim. Jesus. Right, were they arguing? No, even worse. Oh, Jim was the meanest, maddest sheriff in town. Oh, Mum was some kind of damsel in distress. Wow. That is generally the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. Oh. So really we were in a barber shop? Fuck off, it doesn't matter where we were. Space, the Shire. The White House, do you remember that one? That one was weird. Wasn't, uh, wasn't Sam Obama in that one? No, no, no. I was Obama, and Sam was the... Uh... Secretary of Defense. Yeah, exactly. Just don't really get why, um, why I wasn't Obama. It would have made much more sense, I guess, you know. And why would you be Obama? You were the first lady. That's an honor. Oh, fuck off, Sam. Look, the point still stands. I'm getting recurring dreams about consulting you two on how to kill Jim. Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? It's brilliant, more like. What? Well, at first I thought he was just pissing about saying he's having these dreams, but now that we definitely know that they're recurring, he actually wants to kill Jim. You guys can't be serious. Dude, we can't kill Mum's husband. How is he... How is he a husband? A husband is nice and loyal and does husbandy stuff. Okay, fine, you know what? You both are making me leave my own room. I can't listen to this. If you guys want to go and kill Mum's husband, go ahead, but I will have no part of it. Remy is right, man. Maybe we should just leave it alone. Dude. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. No, he's just, he's just being protective, it's fine. You don't need to worry. You always say he's just you being don't. protective. He is, he loves us. Mum, he treats you like shit. How can you not see well, it? He yeah. treats us like shit. He doesn't. You don't know what he's like when he you're not around. He all this for us. He loves us. Oh, I'm being ridiculous. He's just, he just worries about us, and he, and he yeah. worries about me. And he's, he's just being protective. And it's all right, love. As long as you're it's okay about that. It's Romeo. Yeah, whatever. Oh dear, it says here they're cracking down on immigration. You must be worried. <laughs> Why would I be worried? Well, you ride around on a donkey, wear ponchos and sombreros. You stick out like a... Jim, I'm pig. predominantly English. I'm Romeo and I'm English. Well, actually, I'm brown and I stink of chilies. Your parents didn't love you very much, did they? Well, they did yours, obviously. They put you up for adoption. Do you know what, Jim? Yes, I am Mexican. But do you know what they're also known for? Violence and, and anger. You've been racially abusing me since you came into this family, and you, and you know what? What? It could be the very last thing that you do. Oh, no, Taco. You're not going to attack me with your stinky breath, are you? Do one, will you, mate? Yeah, I love. Made you a nice sandwich. What were you talking to Romeo about? Not that it's any of your business. 
you know, cultural things, swapping recipes, you know, that sort of thing. What the fuck is this? Tuna. Well, it's just when have I like fucking tuna? Since eh? you didn't. Never fucking said I didn't. Since when have I fucking when have I said I did? Why did you? Oh, you fucking know me, Carol. You know what you should do, Carol. You should pay more attention to me instead of worrying about your never fucking boyfriend at work. I never fucking mentioned you. it. Oh yeah, right. You fucking try and look after me. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking get well, me a fucking sandwich. How many times did you say fucking listen, Carol? Oh. I'm fucking working all the time, aren't I? Oh yeah, well you're gonna you go back to your fucking mans, are you? Okay. Yeah, you can make her a fucking oh, sandwich, God. you fucking arsehole. That's it, man. That's what? Right, let's fry the- oh, Sam. Really? Just a minute, mate. Right. <sighs> what? Right, let's kill him. Seriously? Yeah, 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 because yeah. he, he has made Mum cry more times than Harry has shown us his penis. But you should have walked in on me when I was shaking my pubes. Wait, what? Harry was shaving his balls with the door unlocked. It's hygienic, it stops the stuff getting. You know, Can't imagine that you showing us your morning glory with some kind of bloody hygienic it's stuff. It's just it? natural. Okay, oh, alright, look, yeah. back to reality, alright? Alright. So, how are we gonna kill him? You boys. <laughs> you boys leave that to me. You have a plan. Sam, you don't have one, do you? Look, this stuff takes time and elegance and patience and all types of shit. Okay, Sam, right, we can't talk about anything here, all right? Do you want to see this with a bat? Yeah, you're fucking right, Romeo. I've got the ears of a bat, I've got the eyes of a fucking orc, yeah? And I've been swooping around on you little cunts. I've been fucking watching every little fucking move you've been making, yeah? I'll be there, looking at you, fucking waiting, and when I see you fucking step out loud, I'm going to fucking pounce. Um, <coughs> eagles, eagles don't pounce. Well, this fucking eagle does pounce. What do I say, Romeo, eh? Is that any fucking funny? No, um, it's, no, it's fine, thanks. Well, it's good. What's the matter with you, huh? You fucking idiot here. Or right, tell me about fucking eagles. I fucking hate for you. You're a nice lad. These two are pair of losers. Now, I'll tell you something, boys, yeah? Your little mother has fucked off to her mothers. Now, how about this one? How about you all fuck off? Get out of my fucking sight. Yeah? And we'll see you. Get it? How about you go fuck yourself? Sam. Just sleep, man. Sam, don't. It's fine. Jim, we'll go. It's fine. We'll just leave. Oh, you're fucking right. dead, right? You go. You better watch your fucking back, son. Where are we going? To the pub. Why are we going there? We have a drink and uh, turn something up. Why are we going this way? It's a shortcut. Sam? Alright, Clarence. Where you, where's up to them? Just uh, off to the pub. What are you up to? I don't really know. Hang on. Wait, Sam, who is this? Clarence. I'm yeah. his gardener. 
is the gardener. No, 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 no. V Clarence. It's cool, man. We know you. Yeah, you're, you're Sam's supplier. Shut up. You sell him drugs. Uh, Sam, okay. Up. My name is Rodrigo, and I'm a gardener. No, 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 no. Sam talks about you all the time. You deal him cocaine. Shut up. You owe me 20 quid. I'll give you the money as soon as I get the money. It's a little inconvenient for me. I've got plans. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what. If you don't get my money in 20 minutes, I'm going to stab all three of you. Sam, Sam, just get him 20 quid, okay? Just get him 20 quid. I've got 20 quid. Just get it. I'm offering to pay off your debt. Just go get my 20 pounds and you can pay him off and we can leave. Go to the pub. No, 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 no. You stay here. One of these two go. You're a slimy bastard. Which one do you like most? What? So if there was a fire, yeah, and you can only save one of them, which one would you save? Or, you know, if there's a lunatic trying to kill us both, which one of us would you kill? Yeah, yeah, that, that's good also. Like, if that was like, if there was a psychopath or something like that and he was going to... This is not really fair though, is it? I mean, it's me or... Well, it's Romeo. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're not my, you're not my biological brother, are you? <gasps> he can't be sick. You son of a bitch. Sorry, man. 20 minutes. Sit down. It's gonna be a while. Oh, thank there God. He is. He's playing. Who? Him. Who? Him. Who? Jim. Wait, Mum came home and now they're fucking. Ah, oh, he's fucking Linda. Lindy? Oh, man, that's fucked up. Oh, God, you psychopath. Guys, you're coming back, right? So, when am I going to see you again? When it's still naked, it's what you want to do. I'm just like that. You might be going to Yeah, but. I've got a fucking wife, don't I? You know that. Yeah, so you got over all of that. Well, she's gone anyway. She wants to go to she'd be better than Kelly, don't you? She wants to make me a sandwich. Not really. Wow. See, when you said it before, I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. Why would I make something like that? It was a very awkward situation. I mean, it's, it's, it's weird shit was going on. I don't even. Clarence just. Hey, what is up with that guy? He's a bit fucking like. Hey, Harry, look, we just. Need to, we need Linda's to focus. Linda's a whore. Wow. That is. Well observed, Sam. Well observed. Well, well, look, Captain just, Obvious. Just think, we got here like five minutes before. We could have seen our boobs. Fucking perfect. Sam, our mum is getting screwed over right now, and all you can think about is, is Linda's tits. Like guys, we need to get down to business. We need to sort this out. We need to kill Jim. Alright, this is how it's gonna go down. Romeo, you come in from the front, okay? You're gonna get him from behind. Once I come in from the back, distract him, yeah? Okay? What's all this? I, I, what? You're confusing me. This is the layout, isn't it? Right? You're here, <laughs> there, bless, bless you. And then I come in here. Right, and then you, you're the wild card. Wow. Don't give Sam wild card. Look, if anything, I should have a wild card. Look, Don't give a coke stop, addict stop wild the, the card. Mexican thing, okay? Right, you, I have a wild card. you've got to sort out Linda, okay? No. No, Sam, yeah, don't say it like just, that. Just tie her up and put her in the back of the car, okay? Be gentle with her, okay? Right. No, wait. You all clear on the pan? Yes, what? 
golf club? Was the fucking okay, which golf club? <sighs> you know I don't play any golf. Yeah, I know that. But which one looks good to you? Which one would do the most? The big one. Too flimsy. No. I know that one's a putt. Dude, that one's fucking tiny. What are you doing? It's, um, it's just making some spaghetti bolognese. Do you want? Do you want some? Yeah. Is is he dead? Yeah, I'm pretty fucking sure he's dead. I did it. Predominantly English. You prick. <laughs> And I killed Jim. Side of the blue 